we're going to talk about Korea's transportation. But before anything else, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Uh, it means a lot to me and I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. Okay, back to the topic. It's Our topic now is about transportation in Korea. Okay, I think South Korea is one of the best transportation system. Uh, from subway to bus to taxi and bicycles. Uh, that's why it's very convenient for tourists to go around the country. Almost everything has signs uh, like uh, also arrows, uh, route maps, uh, touch buttons, uh, screen monitors, LCD like that, uh, and a very reliable app like uh, we call it Kakao Map. First, to make your travel more easier, you need to download the Kakao Map. This is very efficient. This map will show you the fastest routes in Korea. You can also find everything you need like directions, restaurants, and tourist parks. You can use this app for public transportation like the bus stop, bus numbers, subway map, and places. With real-time bus information and traffic information will help you find the fastest routes. Second, you need to buy a bus card or they call it T-Money card. They have also a single journey ticket card but I recommend you to buy the T-Money card so you don't need to buy the single journey ticket card every time you use the public transportation. You can buy these in any convenience stores like 7-Eleven and in stock. You can buy this card for 5,000 won or $5 or 200 pesos. Then you have to load that card in the subway loading machine or they call it bendo machine or in the convenience store where you bought it. This card can be used in subway, taxi and bus. Also you can use this in the convenience store to buy food and drinks. Here's the step-by-step -step loading of your free money card from the machine in the subway. First, select your language, which of course English, and then place your free money card on the load plate. On the screen, select the amount you want to load. Then insert the cash. again let's put in the money okay if you have a change you can get it also from the machine then wait for a few seconds to reload when you see your balance on the screen that's the time to remove your card from the reload plate. Okay, to complete the information, somehow I searched the transportation fares. It might be helpful for you guys. You can just take a picture for easy copy. Now let's start. So in your cacao map, you have also there the subway map. This is very helpful, especially if you are a tourist because it serves as a guide when you travel. You have to read it carefully and take a better look of the transversive train through the color lines. Most subway stations have these high staircases going down covered by this transparent color door usually located beside the road. Going up and down using the stairs is quite challenging so it's better to use escalators. Usually in Korea, when you read escalators, you should always stand on the right side because others are rushing and they need the left side of the escalators to run. There's also elevators, especially when you carry a heavy load. Okay, let's go inside.
You can see that some people are running because they know that the train is near already. They can monitor it through their apps and on the screen monitors that spread within the area. Before you enter the actual subway area, you will see a lot of signs, arrows, route maps, screen monitors either announcing something to the passengers or just informing the passengers about the train. Notice this red sign, it means it's the entrance on the other side. You need to use the green sign with an arrow on your side. So before you enter, you have to pop your T-Money card to the machine. Korea subway is quite clean and organized. They have also toilets inside the area, which is also clean. On standing on the platform, there's an arrow where you cannot go beyond the line. Also, you can see these numbers. It is the number. It's a mark where you can also tell your friend which train car number you will need just in case you are the first one to arrive in the subway. While waiting for the train, you have to be conscious if you are in the right track. If you look up, there's a written three places you will see. The place of the station in the middle is where you are at the moment. The place on the left was where the train came from. And the place on your right will be the next station. From there, you would know if you are in the right track. Just in case you are in the wrong train or get confused, which happened to me all the time, you can always ask around. As my Korean friends would always tell me, always ask the younger ones because they know how to speak English. Or what I did before was, I went to the information booth inside the subway so I can be sure that I am on the right track. And don't worry because they are so accommodating. You can also see this screen monitor where you can trace the train at that moment. So if the train is still far, you can sit first in their clean benches or buy your drinks from their vendor machine. So before you enter, you have to let the passengers go out first. That way, it will be more easier to go inside. When riding a subway, there's a dedicated door and seats for seniors, disabled and pregnant women. Don't sit there or else everybody on the train will be staring at you. Okay, inside the train, you can also see a route map where you can see how many stations before you get to your actual destination. You can also hear a voice recording of a lady saying the next station. And if you don't understand it very well, you can see from the LCD the name of the next station in the upper part of the train. There's also an arrow which door you're going to come out. When I was there, the very complicated for me is a transfer of train. So the right thing to do is just follow the follow the color line. In the subway map, there's a different kinds of uh, there's a different kinds of color like orange, blue, green, yellow. Just follow that color and the, and follow the arrows. You will not get lost because they really put a lot of signs, so you will not be you will not be lost. That's why the subway map is very effective. I also take note or uh, write down all the stations that the train will be passing by. Just in case my cell phone becomes robot, at least I have written notes. There is also a sign like this arrow. Also because the subway has a lot of exits, you can see these exit numbers. Just follow the arrow. This is good because when you want to meet someone, this is the perfect mark. When I was there, the transportation system starts at 5.30 a.m. and usually uh, the last trip, I think the last trip was 11 p.m. but um, it depends on the station because different stations has different time of their last trips.
But you can always check the cacao mug for the information. Okay, rush hours is from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, additional information. They also have lockers if you need to leave your things. Like for example, after shopping and you want to eat first or you want to go somewhere else, this is perfect for you. But you can leave your things only for 4 hours max. You can use your T-Money card for pay. There are also a convenience store and restaurants inside the area if you get hungry. I am working... Okay, this is so this is my soap. <laughs> down, down, down. Okay, okay, are you are you hungry already? Okay, let's eat. Okay, eat na tayo. Let's eat now, okay? Let's go eat now. Okay, later, okay? So that's it, folks. I hope this video will help you explore if you want to go to South Korea. And thank you very much for watching and uh, Please like, comment, and share. Bye-bye for now. Annyeong. Thank you.